Hi my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tilly Rana TV and today I am doing this set for you. Um, this set is really cute. It's really, I don't even know what to call it, but it's really cute. I decided to do something new. I wanted to try something different. So here we are. All right. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on all my social media. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> Hurry up. all right so we are starting out i already glued my tips on um because it was just easier to do it that way my nails are already prepped so what i'm doing is i'm just cutting down the tips themselves with some scissors i just like to do it with this just because it's easier for me i don't like to use that nail cutter tip thingy majigger um just because it's harder for me so right now what i'm doing is i'm cutting the nails into the shape that i want them to i was gonna do all coffin but i was like you know what i don't even want to do that i want to do one stiletto just because no one really gets stiletto and i really just wanted to practice on my stiletto shaping um one thing i'm kind of having trouble with lately is with my shaping and making everything equal so in this coming week i have like three full set of clients so i just have to practice on that um i feel like with nails you're constantly having to you know work on your craft nothing is set in stone you're still consistently learning every day and trying new things so now what i'm doing is i'm just taking the file and i my e-file and i am just um roughing up the tip i already did it and i already do blended my tip um, and I'm just using my manicure brush to get all the excess dust off and with this brush what I do is I spray it with alcohol just so it gets all the cracks and crevices so by the time I go in with my swipe by um, young nails it's already like taken care of so right now I'm taking this like blush pink nudish color by I honestly don't know who this is by I got it from a nail show like a while back so what I'm just doing is I always put um, a clear layer of acrylic on the natural nail just so there's no lifting um, I see a lot of nail techs like go straight in with colored acrylic and for me I feel like it's really risky like you can get a lot of lifting from using colored acrylic as a um core acrylic so yeah what i'm doing is i'm just laying the acrylic down and then i'm going in with the belly of my brush and just making it rounded because i want a what is it called a tip we're doing a purple tip with this so yeah there is a tool that you can use that can like make it nice and sharp but honey we don't have that and i didn't want to use my exacto knife just because it would be really unnecessary um because i don't want it to be like an edge i just want it to be rounded so yeah and with this i'm kind of taking like in between beads like wet and dry at the same time so i want them i don't want them too wet and i don't want them too dry um i definitely don't want them too wet for when i like make the c curve i guess i should say is that what it's called yeah my c curve i think that's what it's called i really i'm like drawing a blank for all technical names so please ignore me <laughs> um so now i'm going in with my pinky and i'm taking a wet bead i wanted to do a whole full nail of nude acrylic for this pinky nail and i liked how it turned out so yeah and that nail i'm actually taking a very very wet bead and again with colored acrylic i don't take huge beads um, of acrylic just because it's unnecessary you can just do a nice wet layer of acrylic and cap it with um, clear just because i feel like when you build the nail with colored acrylic one it's harder to file off and two it's a waste of acrylic like you don't need all of that but I'm learning that with colored acrylic, you really have to take a wet bead of the colored acrylic so it can move easily on the nail. When you don't, it's really hard and it gets like really streaky. So yeah. So now I'm going in with my file and I'm just sharpening up that edge. 
um, and getting that nice curve to it. It was already pretty much like the way I wanted it to, but I really just wanted a certain way and it needed some work on the edges. So I just went in with a file. These files suck, by the way. I do not like them. I'm not a fan. Um, I'm just going to tell you guys now, I will be opening up a nail supply store really soon. So a lot of things that I mentioned that are on this video, I won't be, it won't be linked down below just because obviously I will be selling them eventually, but the things that I won't be selling will be linked down below. So please don't ask. I'm sorry. Some of this stuff is, will not be linked down below. So whenever I use glitter, I like to use a nice little bead of acrylic just so it's easier for me to grab the acrylic and it stays in place when I am blending and doing a whole bunch of other stuff. So I prefer to grab a nice little bead of acrylic and dip it into glitter. Um, this glitter, I actually, why am I saying glitter like that? This glitter I actually did mix. Um, so yeah, and I will have a bunch of glitters on my site very soon so look be on the lookout for that i'm excited very very excited so right now i am taking my ijo beauty um purple shade and i'm taking it on the tip and i'm dragging it down i'm doing a nice little ombre i want it like a glitter ombre thingy and i feel like it turned out really really pretty i like how it turned out like you get a hint of glitter it's not like where you can see it too much so yeah i like it all right i'm going back in with the, the glitter again with another finger and i'm just patting it towards the c curve i honestly don't know what it's called so i'm just going to call it c curve and as you can see i'm going in with another finger just because i don't really like showing that you guys like repetitive stuff i feel like it's unnecessary um, but if you want to see more repetitive stuff of me doing it over again so you can get like a better view and understanding of what I'm doing, just let me know. But anyways, yeah, I'm just adding more glitter to the nail in spots that it needs to be. And you kind of want to be careful with the glitter just because this one was getting all over the place and I really didn't want it to get on the nude. So again, I'm going back in with that purple and I'm going to the tip and what I'm going to do is just slide it on down, make it grab some more acrylic, I mean monomer on my brush to make my brush a little bit more wet and we're just going to slide that on down to make it nice and moist. <laughs> so I'm going to add a little bit more just because it was kind of like not opaque enough for me. So now I'm going back in with all of the nails and I'm clapping it with clear. Um, currently, I'm looking for a way to hurry up my services, although I do take pride in no rush services. It's a point, there's a point where it's like a no rush and it's just another point where it's just like, all right, sis, you're taking too long. And right now, although I feel as though that I'm perfecting everything, I do feel as though that my services could have be a little bit faster, if that makes sense. So what I would have done instead of going in, like individually, one by one, with the glitter and the colored acrylic, I, and then coming back and then capping it with clear, I could have just did it all like each nail like that you know what I mean so laying the pink laying the glitter and then the ombre and then capping it with clear I feel like it would have probably moved a little faster that way who knows um like I said doing nails is a freaking journey there's no set way in how to do it you know you have to have your own flow and figure out how you like to do nails so whenever I'm capping my nails I always take a little bit more water beads um wetter but thicker 
just because the nail is pretty flat from just like me putting the colored acrylic on because again I don't thicken my colored acrylic I find it useless <laughs> useless and yeah I'm just adding clear acrylic to where it needs to be and I'm making sure that I take my brush on the side to clean up everything this is the best technique that I've ever learned in like the past few months just because it makes it so much easier when you go into file and lately i've been seeing a lot of people when they do file like over moving their wrist to file let me tell you right now it's unnecessary and you don't have to do that hold your wrist still and let the file do all of the work for you you don't have to overuse your wrist i'm telling you this from experience guys right now um the reason i quit nails prior to this is because i had severe wrist issues and currently i'm still dealing with it um my week my wrist has been hurting this past week so we're just gonna have to take it, to take it easy and to pop some painkillers and i've been stretching or whatever so please 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 don't ruin your nail career man um stretch your wrist and don't overuse it when you are filing because it's unnecessary so anyways back to this um has nothing to do with what i'm doing currently but anyways i just like i said i just wanted to put that little tidbit in um just so you guys know like be careful you can injure your wrist so easily um as a nail tech we overuse certain parts of our bodies and you don't want to overuse it too much to where you have to put it into your nail career career early um so yeah pray for my wrist guys <laughs> pray for my wrist in all seriousness um stretching it and working on it so hopefully soon it'll be at least 95 percent well but anyways um we are about to go into filing and uh, when i file what i do is i just push the skin down so it gets off of the acrylic if there's any acrylic that was on the side um it does happen uh not you don't want it to be like where there's too a lot of acrylic on the nail on the sides of the nail but there should be like a little bit of acrylic um from when you apply it so what i do is i again just push the skin down and blah 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 file it filing on myself is much harder to do than on a client of course um just because typically my nails are really sensitive and yeah but anyways <laughs> i talk too much um Right now, I'm going in with my comb bit, and I'm just going around my cuticle area to make sure that there's no acrylic or anything. Um, I am, or I just ordered another bit to like a smaller bit that will get in there like really, really good. Um, but this comb bit I got from Amazon, I believe. But again, I will be selling some, selling a lot of stuff on my upcoming store. So again look for that be on the lookout for that so yeah this comb bit i'm just using again to clean out my cuticle area and then i'm just using it to kind of add a nice smoothness to the nail to get anything that i did not get um i feel like learning how to use the e-file is like the last step to learning how to file you should always learn i tell everybody that's beginning to do nails you should know how to file hand file like the back of your hand before you learn how to do anything and i mean this in all seriousness you need to perfect filing hand filing before you even pick up an e-file because if your e-file breaks one day or you forget it at home you're going to be looking dumb because you don't know how to properly you know file with a hand file um if you guys want a video of me hand filing and like how to properly do it just let me know um because that was what i was doing in the beginning half before i got my e-file so right now i am going in to my foils i have been talking so much in this video about nothing <laughs> So these foils, again, I'm not about to say it again, I will not be linking down below because, yeah. And this foil transfer gel is from iGel Beauty and it is freaking amazing. I like it so much more than the traditional um, transfer glue. 
again i got it from ijo beauty and it's so much easier you put it under the light and you let it dry and you add the foil and boom um and then i'm going in with my ijo beauty top coat and i absolutely love this top coat it's like amazing it lasts so much longer than the other ones like dnd so now I'm going in with this crystal gel. This one I actually, if I can find it on Amazon, I will link it down below. Um, I'm just going in with my crystals. <sighs> and yeah, I'm kind of like mixing and intertwining different colors and everything. Um, I wish I would have taken a purple, purple, um, what's it called? Jewel instead of yellow. I feel like it would have really tied in everything but i was like oh let me use like a contrasting color yellow purple or i don't know i just picked yellow because i wanted a different color other than ab so yeah that's what we did and i'm going back in with some oh and i ended up adding another crystal on my finger i would definitely not recommend using top coat to put your to place your um crystals because that one popped off the same day I just didn't feel like going in with my gel <laughs> I was being lazy so now I'm just going in with my cuticle oil don't know why I went back in with what well, why I laid my oil and then went back under the lamp I don't know why I did that but anyways um going back in with some oil for my pictures blah 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 I hope you enjoyed this video I be greasing my hands up grease I mean, oil be making in the hands look real nice for pictures. Yes, ma'am. And yeah, we're gonna use my flower background to take this video. And yes, ma'am. Get into it. Get 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 into it. So, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. This video was so much fun to film. Um, I love doing creative sets fun for me if you have any questions for me feel free to comment down below again my store will be up very soon so again be on the lookout for that um i love you guys so much don't forget to like comment subscribe if i didn't already say it yeah oh and if you are in the dmv area currently i am holding a giveaway for a free nail set so if you would like to enter please go ahead and over on instagram and follow me there until next time, guys. Bye. E -e 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 -e